similar to obstructive sleep apnea, we have um, we we suggest that we have also in the group of central sleep apnea patients subgroups. So this is not very often discussed at the moment because we focus a lot on phenotyping of obstructive sleep apnea, considering individualized treatment for them. But central sleep apnea um, um, is not a unique population. It also differs in terms of the underlying disease, in terms of outcome, and so on. So therefore, the question arises, which relevance does central sleep apnea have for a long-term outcome? And uh, if it's the same for all patients with central sleep apnea? And uh, there is, this is um, uh, process with it's, it's, uh, which is um, only beginning. We are at the very early start of considering these aspects. However, we know that um, um, the outcome is poorer if patients suffer from more um, oxygen desaturations. So the hypoxic burden seems to be relevant not only in obstructive sleep apnea, but also in central sleep apnea. There are other aspects, for example, the respiratory drive, which may play a role. Those patients who have a, an, a high loop gain, that means a high respiratory drive, seem to have poorer outcome as compared to uh, with a dampened uh, respiratory drive. So these are two aspects of, um, of, um, of parameters which might influence outcome of um, central sleep apnea patients.